Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my top five dresses in my handmade wardrobe. So I started sewing about four years ago and through that time, I've gradually built up a handmade wardrobe that I'm really proud of. I hope this video gives you a bit of inspiration if you wanna add more dresses to your handmade wardrobe or if you're new to sewing and you wanna start seeing what dresses you can actually make with sewing patterns to match them. I don't have one of those really cute hang rails that everyone seems to just have lying about. I'm just going to show you the clothes in my actual wardrobe, so let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start off with probably my most worn dress in my wardrobe, and that is this rear dress in a beautiful floral print detail. It's red and navy, and I have probably worn this over like 50 times, and it still looks brand new. So the dress is lined at the bodice, and then it has a gorgeous gathered skirt at the waist with a ruffle hem at the bottom. It's a very kind of floaty, easy, wearing dress and it's something that I just end up wearing a lot in summer when I don't want to feel super restricted. I've honestly made at least eight rear dresses. So one of my favorite things about sewing is the fact that you can make dresses or outfits that are so personal to you. Like what are the chances that someone's going to make the exact same pattern in the exact same fabric? It just feels like you can actually make clothes that are really unique and that's just something that's really resonated with me especially throughout my sewing journey and I think pieces that you wear over and over again are just testament to how fun they are to wear and make. So the next dress I want to talk about is this lowest dress and I actually made this within the first year I started sewing and I can't believe how well it's lasted. I think this is actually probably the first garment that I made where I was genuinely proud of it and wanted to wear it out and show people because it does look pretty professional especially for it being within the first year or so of sewing. I think I got this fabric from rainbowfabrics.com, I can't remember but either way it's such a gorgeous print. It's a viscose twill and I think that just showing me how hard wearing that type of fabric is. I definitely want to make more dresses in that type of fabric because I just love how it wears. It's very floaty and drapey but it has some structure and I actually don't wear a bra when I'm wearing this and nothing kind of pops through. <laughs> But um, yeah, honestly, one of my favorite dresses that I've worn and made to date. The dress actually has a really gorgeous deep V neckline detail and I just love the shape of this dress. It is midi length. So I found that when I started sewing, things that I made just didn't fit me how I wanted or the fabric I used wasn't really correct for the purpose of the garment. So you're gonna make things that you just don't wear because they either don't make you feel good or you're just not comfortable in them. So I'm still really impressed that I made this three years ago and it still looks really really nice and I still wear this out at the moment. So this dress I haven't actually worn that much I've probably only worn it four or five times but it's in my top five dresses because I'm really proud of the construction and the quality of sewing on this garment. I used a really gorgeous silky cotton on this dress and I just love how vibrant and fun the print is. It really really feels super luxurious and fun. I think the reason why I don't actually wear this that much is because the fabric is a tiny bit stiffer and just a bit more structured than what I had imagined. It is gorgeous, it creates a super lovely shape but I'm someone that likes to wear really relaxed clothes. Obviously you could probably tell with this gathered cotton dress but I think if I make this again I definitely need to use something a bit more lightweight and easy wearing. Honestly it's just such a nice dress, like I want to wear this more often. I kind of just need the right place to wear this to. I remember wanting to wear this for dinner one day but then I was really scared of getting like food on it because it is such a nice fabric like I don't want to just ruin it by wearing it out somewhere. I also love the gold buttons that I used on this dress. It honestly felt so perfect for this sort of combination. Yeah I want to wear this more this year. I'm going to try and push myself to wear it to a dinner coming up and we'll see how it looks. If you haven't sewn the Ashling dress pattern, I definitely recommend it. It's a really fun and easy sew. I can't remember what pattern company that is, but I'll leave links to everything in the description box below. I super recommend the pattern. Obviously, you can see the really cute ruffly detail at the bodice, and it's just a fun piece. It's a really, really fun piece. It's probably the most vibrant and bold piece in my wardrobe. So the next dress I want to talk about is this gorgeous floral fabric dress. I think I've worn this over a hundred times. I honestly wore this so much last summer and autumn. I think it's because the shade of fabric just goes with any season. 
This is actually a hack of the Etty Camisole, which is a free sewing pattern on my website, and the rear dress as a skirt and the ruffle at the bottom. I just love how this looks, honestly. I also added waist ties at the back of the skirt to help cinch it in. I can't remember exactly what fabric I used for this, but I think it's like a bubble viscose crepe sort of thing. It's like some sort of viscose with texture and it feels creppy, but I really love how this sits on the body and it just gathered beautifully at the waist in this fabric. If you're a beginner, I find dresses like this really simple and easy to make. First of all, they don't really require much fitting because they are looser style. And then also the gathering effect at the waist and the hem just creates something a bit more interesting rather than just a straight down skirt. But this really is, I think actually looking back at what I've already shown, this might be my favorite dress. I don't know why. I think the fabric choice just works perfectly for this style of dress. And I know how much wear I got out of this last year. So I just can't wait for it to be warmer, honestly, to start wearing my dresses again. Like I'm wearing this one today. It's a really nice sort of floaty dress. I think this is the rum and dress pattern on my website and it's just too cold to wear it. Like I'm wearing it for a video, but I would not go outside in this dress. I think I'd probably freeze. So the last dress I wanna talk about is this khaki green dress. And this is the Ravina dress. I only recently made this, but I've already worn this dress and other samples out to dinner and I can't believe just how comfy and easy it is to wear. I released the sewing pattern earlier last month and honestly, it's just such a staple dress. I love how it fits. So I made this dress in a khaki green modal jersey and it's basically a jersey that's a bit softer to touch and it just drapes so beautifully over the body. I'm just a girl that really loves to wear like easy wearing dresses that just make me feel good. That's why I created this pattern to be honest. I like making really easy beginner friendly sewing patterns that are easy for you to sew and also you just feel good wearing it. Like I love wearing stretchy fabric dresses. If you don't have an overlocker you can still sew dresses like this on any sewing machine. Whenever I wear this I actually don't wear a bra because the top is fully lined and also I made it with thicker straps in mind because if you want to wear a bra with this these thick straps will help conceal the straps. Again, it's just something that's really versatile and easy to make. And dresses like this just are so my style and exactly what I actually would wear in my everyday. I even sewed a cute little label in the back of this dress and it's just super, super cute. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed looking at my top five handmade dresses. Some of these are my own sewing patterns and some of them are from other pattern companies. I'll make sure to leave in the description box below where you can find everything. Definitely let me know in the comments which dress was your favorite and I'll see you in the next one.